if, it, if it's warm, that's okay. Give it a bit if of air. If it's warm, if it's if it's warm, you can take it off and move on to that bad boy. Unless you were just there. Um, right. Let her cool down that way. Are you filming, sweetheart? Alrighty, welcome back. I'll show you what Aiden's doing. Obviously, I'll take you over there and show you what he's doing. Right now, Aiden is on the other door, the door that I was working on, putting the bottom in. I've got Aiden over here working on it. He's welding it together. We've got the lip on it now. We've got the inside piece made for it. We've got the inside piece for made for the other side. We've got the lip for this other side. Aiden is welding it up. Not hurting a damn thing. I can touch it. Also, what I have done is I put a couple pieces in here. We need a piece in here to close this off. So what I've done is we made a little piece and we went over the process the other day using the little, the gr little grinder for shaping this piece. Today, uh, when I made this piece, we put a piece of, put a, on a pair of vice grips and we cut it out with a zip cut just to show there's different ways to cut it for next time. If he wants to do it a different way, he can. Uh, uh, so what he's doing right now, he's welding this up. When he's done tacking on that, he takes his, gr his uh, ground off, he puts it over on the door, he goes over this side, then he comes over this side and he does it a little bit on this side, takes his ground off, goes back to the car and he goes and does it that way, just trying to keep the heat down. He's finished the two pieces in the front that he put in. There was two pieces, we'll go take a look at it. You're more than welcome to go ahead, carry on Aiden, please and thank you. Radio. I like getting, when Aiden comes here, I get lots done. I'm able to move around and, and do other stuff. He's welded two pieces in the front here, and he has x-rayed the front and fixed the pinholes. And by what I mean by x-ray, he took a little light, shoved it up against there, and looked it on the back side. You can see the pinholes shining through. You can see the light coming through. So he's fixed those, and he's welded two pieces up the front. We had, we had uh, a place for trim up there, and the hood was rusty there, and we decided to just weld a piece over top of it. And also what it did is it took and uh, took away a little bit of filler because it filled in where the hood and this piece come together. Now, if, you look, come, if we come take a look on the inside, this is where I'm getting at. If you, you come look on the inside of that, where that's welded up, that front piece, that's welded on there. To me, that looks good. And if you try to zip that, cut that out and butt weld that, you would not get a grinder down in there to clean that off and make that look good. No, you would not. You, you think you may, but it would not. And it would look like poop if you, do, if you butt welded that in there. You couldn't get at it and cleaned it off. Where we have it like that, we can seam seal it and do whatever we want after that. We can, you know, to make it look nice. But if you think that butt welding is always the answer, no, it's not. No, it's not. I'm, I'm afraid it's not. You may think it is. But once you cut that out and you couldn't get to it, it would look like a dog's arse on the other side. And uh, I don't like that part. Uh, so what I'm doing is Aiden has welded the top of the door or the, the bottom of the hinge in. He's put this piece in and put this piece in. Congratulations, Aiden. He, he passed again. So uh, he likes getting all them good marks, eh? My daughter's that way too. They like getting good marks. And me, I, just as long as I passed, it didn't matter. <laughs> it's weird with that. But anyways, this is what he's done there and done there. I've ground that off. We've got the hood. He's welded this piece on. I've ground that off, made that look nice. We just got to con keep continuing on grinding and welding. As he's welding up over there, I have to put this door back on and I have to make the door gap fit. On the other side, I'm, I'm thinking that the door, cap, door gap is good. On this side, I have to fix it. Uh, and the way I have to fix it, I'm gonna show you. I have to cut it. I have to cut it. That's what I have to do. I'm just going to get another bolt here. Let's go down through the door. I don't know where they're all going, but they're taking off. Oh yeah, this is what I figured out as I've done this door. As I've looked at the door and I've look, looked at the, the truck itself, this, this, this bottom of the door is really nice and flat. Put it on the level, really nice. You know, so there's no, like, there's no, what I'm saying is it's really nice because there's no gap going in between there. So I'm going to leave the door and I'm going to cut the truck. Uh, and what I'm going to do is here, as you, as you can see, the door, the door is hitting on the bottom of this. I can't have that. Got to have at least quarter inch, 360. Got to at least have that quarter inch for the fill and all that sort of stuff. And if you do not, you're fooling yourself. You'll be chips and bruises by the time you get her painted. I'm going to cut that, knock that down a little bit and then give myself a gap and re-weld it. I've got a little bit of cutting to do inside here. I've got a dent there already from just standing on it. And there's a little piece of 
haggled up there, I got a little dent there, nothing to it, just gotta go in the inside and cut it off. But first what I gotta do is I gotta put the door back on and get the gap going. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. It's a beautiful day. And a baby. Not as beautiful as you are though. She got a halter top on boys and Daisy Dukes. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Uh, here we go. There we go. Awesome. Whatever. I'm hoping that when the, the pins are in for good, I'm hoping that I have a really good fit. And if I do not, like if I do the hinge, on, like if I do not, Fitting tighter now they are for some reason, aren't they, right? Fitting tighter now they are for some reason. It's all looking good. A little tight up in there. I can grind some more off. It's a little, it's a little tight. It's a little tight. You can see right down here where we're, where we're hitting. Yeah. So I'm going to open that up a little bit. I'm going to take a zip cut and I'm going to cut this part, bang it down and weld it back, to, weld it back together again. Need my glasses. I need the zip cut grinder and I need my gloves. Where did I put the gloves at? Must have moved them to the other side. Gloves. Yep, them are the ones I want, Aiden. I was over here last. Looking good, bud. Looking good. Thank you. Thank you. Looking good. Uh, Jolene, you're looking special. Good. Jolene's looking especially good. You can see right here how I have to have the door has to come out a little bit and that's just them channel locks you can see how the doors in here a little bit got to have the door on the farthest part out because I want the filler on this part most of anything so I can keep them doors looking thin that's what I want but you can see right here as, as I'm out a little bit this door has to get come out a little bit to make that fit better right got to have that out. got to pull that lip out a little bit or vice versa whatever works Getting some rock today, putting a, put a footing down so we can move the, our, some of our containers around. Some of our containers are not in the right place, so we're getting some rock put down so we can move our containers. That should be fun. Ah, zip, zip cut right here. Had visitors already this morning from Ontario. Very nice people. Alrighty. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to cut the truck and then pry that down. I'm going to take a little bit out of it and then re-weld it. Alrighty. I've got a line drawn there already. Uh, I, I'm going to have to take a little more out than just the line probably to get the gap. But here we go. And I can do a little bit at a time so I can get it back together and not have it all opened up. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a screwdriver in there and pry it down. Pry bar maybe. I'm going to pry this down and get my door gap right. Or start of it, right? Now to me, I like that door gap. Alrighty, I'm going to grab the, another welder and bring it over this side. Do 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 do. 
maybe some of the hardest things ever to do is to move a move a welder around in a shop, isn't it, Aiden? Sometimes, isn't it? There's a lot to get around there. <laughs> There's a lot to get around sometimes. Cool. I've had a few people in in the last couple days, and um, they have give me give us props for how real that we are and that we're the real deal when they come here to meet us. We're the real deal because they come in the, the driveway. They're able to pull up in here. They talk to us. We are no different, no bigger, no smaller than anybody that comes here. And uh, they, I think they really appreciate that. And, uh, you know, as they were talking about the shop and, you know, things like that, um, like I said to them, it's not the shop that builds the car. It's not the shop. And besides that, if I had the big tools, I probably wouldn't know how to use them. <laughs> probably wouldn't know how to use them or wouldn't use them because I want it to go faster than the big tools would allow. But as I'm doing that, you know, and I am doing like doing work in the shop, I I am not I am not for the for the guys that have all the money and have all the tools. I'm not I'm not for them guys. They have they have already got it. I am for the guys that have nothing and want something. That's who I am, who have nothing and want something. So I, I like the shop the way it is. I'm happy with the shop the way it is. I do not need, I do not need any more or any less to build an awesome hot rod. I do not. And I hope the people that watch feel the same way. You know, you don't need, you do not need all that big equipment and big garage and big shop to build something that you want. You do not need it. And I am here for those people. <laughs> Basically the end of it. I am here for those people. Put my helmet back there I did. But I like to see, yeah, I like to see the people that to show that you can build a hot rod, an amazing hot rod, an amazing hot rod from nothing. That's what I like. Just want to hold it down. I'm going to take a look through the other side just to see what I got, to see what I have. It doesn't look like a much of a gap from over here, but. Cut a little bit more. And what happens is just keep taking it out so I can get it down. You can see it's still touching there, so I have to take more out. Might have went a little far that one. Hammer and chisel. See you not. I have the top of a door there. That's not good. At the top of the doors right there. That's not good. Yeah, that door's gonna come out some, so maybe that will be a good gap. We're gonna try it right there, you're gonna nail it there. See what we can get.
right on there. Yes, I am. Good. Looks good. You can see how I'm going down inside, and that's a good thing because it's because it's in it's welded in there. As I cut it off, it's coming down. It's getting shorter than it fits inside. Why wouldn't it be? Cut it again if I can't get it. place I'm really having a rough time is right there on top of the door. The, look, there's a little bit of top of the door left there underneath, so it's going to be a hard time getting it down. I'm going to have to put the hammer to it, I guess. Don't really want to just hammer it, but that's what's got to be done. Gap. Yeah, not so much. I need more gap up front here. Should have a body hammer. Yes, I should. Wow. Why am I getting less and less?
Ah. Now I have got door gap on these there. I have. Don't know if it's enough. Body hammer for that, and the body hammer's for so I don't make marks in the metal. I make marks in the metal with this hammer, yes I do, but you make a lot less marks than you do with something like that. Now yeah, I'm going to beat that down. I'm going to open that door up. I'm going to beat that in, and then see what we look like. Got the place here that I want to. Eh. That door is, eh? Just had to beat that, I did. I had to beat that, and what I did is hammer it, slip that, hammer it, bring it down, shrunk it. Um, right now I have to lift that back up and try to get the zip cut underneath it to get the top of that door off, because I really can't, well, I can just hammer on it and, and make a mess of it. Yes, I can, but, but somehow, some way. I'm going to cut the top of that. You see where I'm trying to cut here? Like there's a the top of the door there holding that piece of metal up. I got to try to slice, put the grinder in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift that up. Cut in there and cut that. Cut that now, would you? Just a little perseverance, that's all. I think what I'll do is I'll get that one shoved down in place where it was. Good. Awesome. Now I can get this. Down in place. Get this one down. Doesn't look the best right at the present moment, but it's not supposed to. We should check it before I do that. the door up because that's better that's better that's better that's better I'm gonna take another cut of this watch I take another little cut of this and knock it down just a little bit more Because I've cut it down doesn't mean I don't want it tight when I weld it back up. Just gonna open this up. You can watch this line. See how I cut that hole there? If you just don't watch a second, I'm gonna do work. Watch this now. Just want, I just want a little more area there. I'm gonna hit it right there in the weld. 
See, I was shrunken that. I have to weld that back up. Just close the hole up. And it gives me a little more rat, a little more room. Just weld that up. Didn't want to do that there. Oh, I did. Dead. There we go. Right on. Oh, drop a little further, that's all. Now, I'm going to go along and plunk that on there where it's tight. tight. That didn't get that well. I have to grind that edge down a little bit. I'm going to take and shut the welder off. I'm going to open the door up and I'm going to run the flapper wheel along it. And what I mean by the flapper wheel is a sanding wheel to try to give myself a, na a nice clean 45 to weld to. Right now it's not basically 45 to all the whole way along, but it will be when I put the runner grinder across it. Aiden's going back and forth like a champion. Haven't got the pins in the door yet. That's why we're picking it up, lifting it, holding it, doing whatever. Got a pretty good gap in there. And what I'm thinking is once I, I got a pretty good gap on there. Once I get the gap and I pull, pick the door out a little bit, we're going to have a little bit more gap and that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Alrighty. Now it's the point to tacking it up and welding it up, I guess. I'm guessing that's going to give us enough. If not, I can always grind a little bit off the top of the door, or the bottom of the door. The, the bottom of the door is, is what welded together. I did not grind it all off, because that's, that's the kind of guy I am. I did not grind it all off. Just ground some of it. Just a bit. Just ground some of it. Yep. So we'll and there's a lot of work in them two doors. Still have to go up top here where the door comes together where I've cut it apart there a little bit. Still got to weld that back together. There is so much welding that, uh, yeah. This weld right here, I don't like. Got it stuck out there a little bit. Oh, my flapper wheel on. Bum, bum, bum. There's a couple spots of weld where I put it and it's got it bumped out a little bit and I just don't like it.
that makes me feel better. That makes me feel better. There's a couple places there that weren't fitting very, were pushed out, that's all. That makes me, that makes me feel better. It's always nice when you can do something to the car that makes you feel better about it. And uh, cutting that, leafing them two welds and getting the metal a little tighter made me feel better. All I did was, re all I did was re release them. That was a level. I wasn't. <laughs> She's falling apart. I must be hammering it too hard. Didn't break anything, did we? Good. Fits beautiful. Got the piece in the bottom here. We got to make that piece yet for the front bumper, the splash pan. Got to make that one. Got it. See what it looked like. It doesn't look like much, but we'll fix it. If you can picture it, you can picture a piece of round bar coming from this fender all the way out around, I'm mimicking this shape, going to the other fender, lay on a flat piece of metal on it. That's basically what it'll be. Grab a welding rod. Do 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 do. There. I'm going to take my channel locks. I'm going to tug on the door right now at the bottom, trying to get the bottom to fit. I have it looking pretty good. I think I do. Not as good as you, though, Jolene. Huh? I'm just going to take that off. No, I want a pair of channel locks right over here. I use these quite a bit for breaking an edge or bending something. They're just nice because you can open them up, shut them. You can do basically anything from here to here or there, here somewhere. I want that bent out a little bit. Just open her up. Bend her up. Hmm. No, I don't want to do that. And the reason being is, is I'll cause a dent. If I do, if I grip that and try to bend that up, I'm going to cause a dent right there, and I don't want to do that. I'm going to have to hammer that, get it on the other side, put something on the front, and hammer it down. I'm not going to do that. All right, I'm just going to actually put the door back on. Basically, I'm just going to step back and see if I like the gap. I don't want to keep doing it over and over and over and over and over again. No, I do not. 
want to get it done and get it done right. I see one right here I don't like. Three grinders on there, gonna do much on the grab. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, see it down a little further. that off. Watch yourself, sweetheart. I want that hammer. Happier. Happier. Good. And we just tack it together. That's in there a little bit. I have to get that in, in some. That's fine. Alrighty. I'd like that further away too. As we get going, I want to open it all up. I'm going to have to maybe take some off the door on this side. Want more room, that's all. Basically, all we're doing is shrinking the metal. That's all we're doing is taking some out of it. And you can tell how much we took it out because we cut, zip cut the gap and then we bring it tight again. So you know we're taking metal out of it or shrinking it. Ooh. Damn it! You're grabbing, grabbing the band wrong time. Getting as much as we can. Here we go. Now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld that all back up. I'm going to use air to weld it back up. And then I will have showed you two ways, <laughs> I've showed you two ways 
and how to make door gaps. You can either cut it off the bottom of the door and, and cut your door off and start welding your door back up, or you can cut into the vehicle and open it up that way. Um, the reason I'm opening up the bottom of this one, not the door, is because the door was nice and straight. And I'm thinking that on the other side, this one come down a little bit more on the other side. So what I'm going to do, that comes out, there should be more of a gap. As this is out a little further here, this is out a little further. As I bring this out, I'm hoping that I get a little more gap than I, what I should actually get. Uh, this is not bad. Just you have to be very careful because I can be in, into it again and again and again and again when it comes time. If I do not leave enough room for filler and all that stuff, I'll be back into cutting and, and making a bigger gap again. And I don't want to make it so huge that I have to put a bunch of filler in to get the gap. I want to make the gap fit the best I can with, with the metal. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it like that for now. It looks not bad. We've got better than a 3 16th there. I'm thinking better than a 3 16th. And uh, I also can rub the, the feather, the, the sand disc on the bottom of the door because I got lots of weld on the bottom of that where I weld it together. Yes, I get it. Yes, I do. But basically now I'm going to take my time and do a good job welding this up. And then we'll go from there. And then I have to take the door off and bang this around, make this fit right. How you making out, Arnold? Arnold's dumping me some rock, and he's going to give me a bunch of slips i got to pay. Is that the best part of the job? Yep. Pen. <laughs> <laughs> no. Right That's on. That's your worst part of it. That's the yeah. worst part of it, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you very much. If I need more, I'll just climb the mountain and... Oh, yeah. Just yeah. give us a shirt. No cool. Problem. Right on. Thank you very much. Good. Good. I'm going to go and take a look. Come on, take a look. We'll look at some rock. This, this is... <laughs> Did you pour it right in front of the door we can't get out? <laughs> Good. I wouldn't do that. No. There you go. <laughs> we got some rock, have we not? Whoop, 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 whoop. There you go. There's some rock. Look like a lot of rock, does it? Yeah, it should be a lot, shouldn't it? I would think or too much. How much is building them up? Well, it's got to come out level. I might have too much. Who knows? I don't uh, know. Well, Better have too much and not enough. That's a lot over there until it's there, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's coming down about a foot, so I want to fill that all in so we can get the... Yeah, what do you think? Look, you'll be probably okay, eh? I, I, mean, I don't think you need any more. No. Yeah, we can see how, see how where the container started there? Oh, I'm going to go all the way up to there, and it's got to come up a foot to be level. So we haven't got one in the back. i got the big hole here. We'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll be fine. Thank you very much. And if I have got too much, well, i got too much. There you go. There's some rock now, would you? Huh? There's some rock. How are you making out, Aiden? Doing good. Here, I'll see you with that. Awesome. It's going good. I got to get on my side, make my side look half decent. My side's not looking very good right at the present moment. And what happens when I, when I get it going, when I get done, I'm hoping the other side will look just like this after I butt weld it back in there and get it ground off. I'll do the exact same thing. You can see the door gap on the other side now. It's not a bad door gap. Not bad. I've got to knock it down a couple places. But what I'll do is I'll weld it back up. I'll butt weld it like this. I'll flush the top off so you can't see anything. And then on the side, I'll sand it off. Aiden's getting this going good. Pretty good. Pretty good. No, no, feels good. So I'm hoping after today that I can have both doors welded up, ground off, get both door gaps going, and then it's onto the hinges, the firewall, and finish the hood. Have a good one. Oh, we're going to give away a hat or a shirt. We're going to give away a hat or a shirt. Got the computer up front here. I can continue on welding that up on camera if you want um, to show you how I do it. But I think we already did it once. Show how I weld that all along there and flush it off. But we're going to give away a hat and a shirt. I want to thank everybody for their comments and their, you know, their good wishes and the good wills. We appreciate it. You watched us yesterday give away, or Jolene give away her Mercedes to Aiden. Note one thing for sure. She would not give the car to somebody she didn't think was going to do something with it. Um, the car 
I think went to the right place, and the reason being is I feel like Aiden might do something with it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, for people to say, well, you could have given it this person, you could have given it this person, you could have done this, you could have done that. Yes, we could have. But n nobody is willing to give something to somebody that not, is not willing to do it for themselves. You have to remember that. When someone is not willing to do it for themselves, it, you really don't feel like helping that person. But when someone comes here and wants to learn and wants to go forward and wants something, I have no problem, or Jolene has no problem, or anybody should have no problem helping that person out because they want something, they're going for something. But if you have not got the will and the want, I'm afraid nobody's going to give you nothing because you're not going to show the effort that needs to be there to receive something. You know, basically that's about it. That's what I think about giving the car away. There was some stupid comments, and I thought, when I say stupid, but just... It's easier to judge when you do not think. Um, but when you see somebody that wants to fix something and has the will and the want, anybody's willing to help that person. Guarantee it. If you are not, then it, then it doesn't come your way. I'm afraid it doesn't come your way. And th that's the way it goes. Oh, press start. We think you're going to do something with it, Aiden. That's why you received it. And uh, that's basically the end of it. Amazing gesture, guys, and that, thank you very much. What's it? Uh, Troubadour Juggernaut, Juggernaut, Troubadour Juggernaut. You have won a hat or a shirt of your choice, and it was a gesture of goodwill to a good person. Basically, that's the end of it. And uh, if you're going to give something away, um, you know, someone's going to take it and go sell it. That's, that's a different story, but s someone's going to take it and go work on it and cherish it. That's who you give it to. You know, it's not about the money. It's about going forward in life. All right. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. And uh, we hope the best for you all. That makes sense? Huh? I hope that made sense to everybody. <laughs>